Hey there 3D artists and welcome to your final week of found object art on UAF's Visual Art Academy online. So you're going to start this week uh, by making a sketch on your whatever you're using for your backing. I have a canvas board and it just has to be a rough sketch so you know kind of where your, your objects need to go. And then you're going to start placing and arranging your found objects. They can be leaves and sticks and rocks and pine cones or whatever. And you're just going to start placing them, arranging them kind of where you want to go. Don't glue them down or anything just yet in case you need to move some things around. As you will see, um, I did a lot of rearranging and playing with some of the things that I wanted to go and where I wanted to put them. So be creative. Um, I want you to use your whole canvas and create something balanced and beautiful. Um, so you can see here I've used some just little rocks. Um, I have some pine cones on there so far, a stick. These are some candy conversation hearts. And I didn't have quite enough to fill the area that I wanted, so I tore up the box and kind of shaped the box. Um, I had an old bunch of um, fake flowers that I cut up and used for some other things. Um, and then just cut up all those parts of the fake flowers too. So the image that I was going off of was that uh, title screen that you saw. So it was just a close up of um, a plant. It was a picture that I had taken a while ago. So I just thought it was an interesting picture. It is representational, but feel free to do something abstract. Um, but make sure you just have a plan before you start doing it. Um, so, like I said, sketch something out. Make a sketch in your sketchbook. Um, use a photo that you've taken. Um, maybe you're taking photography in the Visual Art Academy as well and you just really love one of those photos, go ahead and use that as your inspiration. You're also uh, encouraged to do some of the, or look up some of the artists and do some of the research on some of the artists that I have suggested, just to give you an, an idea of where to go. So here's where I just started gluing some things down. Um, unfortunately, I missed the very beginning of that, but um, I'm just using regular like white school glue. You could use hot glue if you've got a hot glue gun. Um, but start getting some of these things down. And as you can see, um, with the bubble wrap, I cut that up. So I altered it and then I painted on top of it. So you get this kind of cool texture and sort of a weird sky thing. Um, even though that wasn't in my original picture, I just kind of wanted to um, change that up a little bit. So I'm using some of those leaves from my fake flowers to create the leaves of the picture that I'm trying to illustrate here. And just give the idea of these, these leaves, but I'm not just using one leaf to represent one leaf. I'm kind of piling them on and making it my own. And I alter some of the leaves, I cut them apart, I combine them in different ways to give this illusion. One thing that I found was instead of um, putting glue on your object, if I just took a, like a little envelope, a pile of glue on it, and then dipped my um, bits and pieces in that and then stuck them to my canvas. Or when I did like the bubble wrap, I just painted glue on the surface of my canvas and 
um, did that. Um, another option would be to paint the back first and give yourself um, a you know a background that way. But then you're going to want most of your canvas with some object or another. So these little fabric uh, petal bits I found uh, didn't like to do exactly what I wanted them to do um, in their kind of original format. So I scrunched up and gave them a little bit more shape um, in order to uh, just give it a little bit more texture. And then these little yellow bits were part of that fake flower arrangement as well. And that worked out for that top little flower. So I'm excited to see what you guys have uh, for me, but have fun this week and uh, it's been great working with you.